Anytime you're ready, Jenny. Welcome to NTV. My name is Grandma Jenny Haywood. I'm interested in what children have to say, and I interview young people such as my friend Seth here, who has a lot to say. Welcome to NTV, Seth. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm doing all right, love. Uh, I would like to show you that Seth is first an artist. He is a beautiful painting that he entered in one of the exposition uh, in Niagara Falls lately. We had a big contest here. Uh, he won a consolation prize, but he has so many projects on the go, he cannot devote all his life into painting. Tell me about your life uh, in uh, in school, what do you want to do when uh, you get older? Um, I'd like to be a geologist. I like mining, and me and I have a buddy at my school named Nicholas Crusoe. We, me and him, like to research on rocks and minerals because we have this library full of rocks and minerals books that teaches us about rocks and minerals. Oh, that's wonderful. So you will be a mineral, me, uh, say that word again? Geologist. A geologist. And uh, you do collect a lot of things, I understand, beside rocks. What else do you, are you interested in collecting? Um, I like collecting fossils, um, texture, like stuff for like paint, and I like collecting um, diamonds. Yeah. I, I've known you for uh, a little while now, Seth, and I cannot but wonder what makes you such a patient young fellow. You are very patient. Do you have any uh, ideas to give to people your age? How old are you anyway? Uh, my age is eight, and I was born in Ju June. Um, in June, anyway, eight years ago. That's wonderful. And uh, so you might be a geologist or paleontologist. Are you doing good grades? Are you doing well in school? Yes. Uh, a lot of times I get grade fours and threes. I don't get twos or ones. That, that, you, it sounds like you will do well. Who is your teacher? Miss Belmont. And which school do you go to? St. Gabriel Elmont. In, in Niagara Falls here. In we, Niagara Falls. Yeah, we are right now. NTV is a small studio within the art gallery right across from City Hall in Niagara Falls, Ontario. And we see an awful lot of people coming here. So I'm happy you could make it today to talk to us. Uh, we were talking about the fact that I find you so patient. Everybody has that. You have, how many brothers do you have? Two. Two. And you get along with both of them. You are the oldest one. How old are your others, brothers? Um, for me? One of my brothers is six, and one of my brothers is uh, one year One a little bit older than one, yes. I met him, too. And uh, what is your secret to get along with people? Because you seem to do so well with everybody. I've seen you in groups sometimes, and I, I'm always amazed. What is the secret? to get along with people. You are certainly no bully. I always uh, talk about bullies because I believe a bully is made, not born. People are driven to do things that they don't really want to do. Tell us how can young people get along with one another? Um, just by showing fr friendship, love, faith, and a little bit more like peace and all that. Yeah, you are peaceful, aren't you? Do you follow a special healthy diet for that? Because the scientists seem to think we have to follow a healthy diet to be patient and have, yeah. You would never be a bully, I know that. Uh, tell me a bit about your reading. I, I know you love arts, but you also love reading. I what? like to read, like I, the farthest I can go up is to graphic novels. Oh, that sounds good. What, how would you solve some problems of the world? Pick up one problem. Tell me, how would you solve the problems of the world? So, pick one. If there is a war, I'd call it to stop because wars are very violent and bad, and when people die, it's a hard risk to die. 
And so whenever you stop a war, it is just like stopping two people fighting. And you are so right. I grew up in a war, so I, I know it's, it's very difficult for children. And so you would put an end to that. You might like to, to pass the word to all your friends. Let's not fight. Do you ever hear people fighting at school? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Um, sometimes there's a bully that comes around and goes around, and he likes to spy on people. And then, as soon as he sees something do good, he tries to make it all spoiled and bad. Oh, I think we better get him to an interview and and talk to him because he probably it's not his fault. There's some reason behind all that. Yeah. Talk about the art. We, you know, we are in an art gallery. What do you like? Uh, like I said, you have all those uh, paintings here. This is one that you started but didn't finish. But you will finish this one in, in, before you know it. So we enter it in the next, in the next uh, exposition or contest or something. Well, okay. Uh, I would like to ask you about the environment because many children are very conscious about the environment. So tell me what you think about how to save the planet. Um, I think whenever I see garbage, I just know more if I can pick it up, throw it in the garbage because it's nice to save the environment and I love animals. That's good. Animals, ha, ah, you have animals. How many? <laughs> Two dogs. I have two fishes, two dogs, and a cat that comes to visit me and tries to get into my house. Oh, okay, one of the neighbor's cat. You used to have a snake. I remember I oh, held you. and snake. I have a snake. Oh, you have another one because the first one died. His name is um, Flake. He likes. He has a big container and he likes to crawl around in it. Yeah, and it, is it? What do you feed the snake? Um. Baby mice usually, don't you? They're actually kind of like real mice because he's getting huge. Like we had to buy him that big of a team. Oh, that, I, I, I would be kind of uh, scared to have a snake in my house. My son used to have snakes. So, oh, for it's years. really, you have to take really good responsibility yeah. for a snake you because the snakes, um, there's a special stuff for snakes. Yeah. And if you don't feed them, um, like, um, it's really hard to tell if snakes are sick or not, so... Um, yeah, how do you find happened. out? How do you find out if a snake needs medical care? Um, actually, I have no idea, because we've never been to medical care for snakes. Yeah, okay. What about your dogs? Who looks after the health of your dogs? I know they are very friendly when I go by your house. We are um, sort of neighbors. My mom, my dad, me, I check a look at her. You, you look after the dogs. Yeah, yeah, like and you have a yard her. with a fence, so the, but the dogs are safe. You shouldn't have a dog really locked up in apartments and all that. But. And you should never, ever have a dog outside for too long. Cause really? Because many, like baby dogs can get sick really fast outside. Especially in the cold weather, you think? Especially in the cold weather. Yeah, you know the cold. We happened to be on Christmas Eve 2011 here. Am I right? Yes. Yes, you are right. So you are waiting for Christmas, I guess. Christmas is tomorrow and I get to see my family I haven't seen in a year, which is my really? mom's side of the family. Oh, good. That's wonderful. And you are going to uh, eat a turkey? Oh, I shouldn't talk about that. I'm a vegetarian. But the turkeys are nice. If I you eat no meat, you, you don't care anyway. I don't care. All right. Well, let me tell you, Seth, it was a pleasure to speak with you. And I always end my interviews, but we shall meet again. Thank you. You're No, he was really nervous because he thought we were going to be